Hello, welcome to episode 10 of Chris's Moto Life. Today we've got another motorcycle. This one's got a really interesting story behind it. First and foremost, it's a 1983 Suzuki GS1100 ED. In 1983, this was the fastest motorcycle that was sold on the market. Acclaimed 108 horsepower, zero, uh, quarter mile times were in the low 11s, they're saying. I read somewhere where somebody said they broke the ES version into the tens on the drag strip, which I don't know if this one would work would work that well. It had a top speed of 140 miles an hour, which was pretty impressive back then. You got to remember this was before the days of uh, before the days of like you know the race replica bikes, as we call them today, sport bikes. This is the final iteration of the UJM, the uh, U the Universal Japanese motorcycle which was used, you could either throw some side bags on it, go touring. These bikes kind of were expected to do it all. This was the last of a generation. Once this generation passed, bikes started to get really specialized. We have adventure bikes now, we've got touring bikes, we've got sport bikes, we've got track. So we've got a lot going on. Um, it's one of my fans. So this bike's got a neat story. It came from a little shop that was in Shimokan, PA, which is right by Centralia. Now, 30 years ago, and 38 years ago, I went to pick up a bike for my mentor, John Valentine, one of my favorite people in the world. He had owned Valentine Suzuki in Dallas, PA. He had an AC Cobra and a bunch of race cars, and it was really cool. So he once sent me to go pick a bike up and in Shimokan, I think it was from this dealership, and I got lost in Centralia, of all places. Ended up going to the wrong motorcycle shop, and the shop I ended up going to was the shop that got bombed when they were having all those fights about Centralia. Centralia is a city in Pennsylvania that is on top of a coal seam that is burning. And uh, it just was kind of interesting that this bike came from the coal region. It was owned by my friend John Valentine. It's been tuned pretty well. The only problem that we're having now, and let this be a cautionary tale to all of you, uh, I let the gas sit in this all winter, and we're gonna try for my usual ride away. So, when I try, you might hear some popping, you might hear some stuff. Oh, one other cool fact about this bike. When it was brand new, the retail on it was $4,300. So I went into the calculator online to see what was that worth today? You know what it was? It was like $11,000 of today's money, and $11,000 isn't going to get you the fastest bike on the road. I think the new BMW SRRs are probably more like 20, 22, which by the way, we're going to have one of those coming up. Well, what? I'm glad that you took a look at this bike. I think it's a pretty interesting bike for you all. It's 30 some years old. As always, I really want to thank you for tuning in to Chris's Moto Life, and I want you all to have a really awesome week. Now let's start this thing up and see if it doesn't pop through the back, pop and backfire. Let's see if we can't do our traditional end to the moto life. 